Hey guys, what's up? It's TTM Mike, and uh, today I'm coming at you with a PSA reveal. Uh, a couple of cards here, I believe is eight. But first I want to show you this letter I received today. Yesterday I showed you the card I received. Today I received this uh, letter from Will Clark and Giant Stationery. Very nice. So that's a Dear San Francisco fan, thank you very much for sending me your items to sign. Unfortunately, due to the overwhelming amount of mail I have been receiving and COVID concerns, I can no longer maintain the ability to sign and send back the items. In an effort to curtail these items, as well as raise money for my charitable causes, I would like to request that if you still want my autograph in the future, please send a check payable to Autism Speaks to help raise money for research and therapy for autism, which affects so many people and families worldwide. I request that you send $20 per trading card, and I will be happy to send back the cards in an appropriate time frame if you include a self-addressed stamped envelope. Thank you for following my career and requesting my autograph, supporting, uh, supporting the San Francisco Giants and receiving and baseball everywhere. With sincere thanks and understanding, Will Clark. So, yeah, I sent Will Clark this page that I pulled out of a magazine, uh, Topps Magazine. So it's a pretty cool page. And I was uh, hoping to get his autograph on it. But, uh, yeah, if I do want this, uh, it's going to cost me $20. Although, you know, COVID is still around. He's willing to sign it if I send him 20 bucks. So, yeah, that's it. Well. I don't know, Will Clark's a good guy. He signed plenty of autographs over the years for plenty of people for free. So now he's asking for a few bucks for autism awareness. I think that's pretty, you know, that's not a bad deal. 20 bucks for a great player and it's going to a great cause. So uh, now let's get to my PSA reveal. This first card is uh, 1972 Tops. It is a pitching leaders. Uh, I send this in. It's... Uh, got some great ball players on look at that. It's got three Hall of Famers and a pretty good player. It's got Fergie Jenkins, Steve Carlton, and Tom Seaver, all Hall of Famers, and Al Downing, who gave up uh, Hank Aaron's 715th home run. So pretty cool card. 1972 tops NL pitching leaders, and this card received a six. So that's not bad for a 49-year-old card to receive a six. It's off center, as you can see. You can see right here the uh, it's uh, it's got less of a white border than this side does. Same thing with the bottom and the top ratio. But hey, man, like I said, 1972, 49 year old card coming back a six. I'll take it all day, every day. Second card here. I just had this card hanging around. This is a. Um, 19, what is 1980, uh, 1994, I believe. Shaquille O'Neal Hoops. Yeah, it's uh, 1994 Shaquille O'Neal Shaquille Hoops card. Pretty nice looking card there. And this grade received a 8, near mint 8. And then I sent this uh, Tom Brady, the GOAT. On this StarQuest card. I looked at this card. Left and right and all the way around. I don't know what they saw. But they found some flaws on it. Probably the edges. Because there's like a foil card here. So uh, yep. They gave this 2008. That's what it was. 2008 Upper Deck First Edition. Tom Brady StarQuest. They gave it an 8. A near mint an 8. And uh. I tell you, man, I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with the surface. There's really no borders on this card. But uh, they gave it an 8. What can you do? Those are the breaks. And next here is, I think this is a rookie card of uh, Larry Chippa Jones. Yep, it is. And uh, this is a 1994 Bowman's Best Chippa Jones. Very nice card. It's very shiny. To Bowman, and they gave it an eight near mint, mint eight. Coming up next is a my man Jacob the Grom. 
His rookie card. Very nice rookie card by Panini. You can see, I already have this one and a 10 and a 9. So I'm just I just decided to send another card in to be graded. Another Jake. So there it is. 2014 Dunruss Jacob the Grom the Rookies. And this received a 9. A mint 9. Very nice card. I'll be sending that off to a buddy of mine who's a Met fan. And he's starting a collection up for his son, who's I think he's three or four, Chase. So that's for Chase. And then I uh, I sent in this 2003 Upper Deck Tops Prospect LeBron, LeBron James promo. Very nice looking card here. And this card received a mint nine. Pretty nice card. Early LeBron James card. Doesn't have any t really any tattoos on his body yet. Uh, he had one here. I guess that was his first one. But uh, very nice card. Mint 9. <clears throat> Coming up next, we have another Freddie Freeman card, a rookie card here. This is uh, 2011 Tops Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman was the rookie of the year. Last, uh, not rookie of the year, the National League MVP last year. And this card received... A mint nine. So, if you remember the diamond card, I submitted a diamond card, a subset diamond card, which is worth a lot of money, actually. That one received a 10, and I wish I would have received a 10 on this one, because a 10 is going around 500 bucks, I think. But, hey, I'll keep this nine. Nines are good. Better than eights. Next one is a Chris Davis, Chicago Cubby third baseman, Chris Davis. This was a minor league card. I picked this up on eBay, and uh, yep, 2013 University of San Diego Chris Bryant Alumni Magazine card. There it is, All Star Fan Fest to Ray Rose Chris Bryant, and this received a mint nine. Pretty nice card there, Chris Bryant. Coming up next is a uh, Yankee legend, the captain, Derek Jeter. I got him on this 2015 Tops. Uh, Derek Jeter, two hands up. So I guess there's another card out there with his hands down. I don't know. But uh, this guy was so clutch. They got him on this card. This is his last baseball card for Tops. And, uh, of course, in his last at-bat, he hits a game-winning single to drive in the winning run this guy was just so clutch man uh hate the yankees but you gotta love Derek, man he was mr clutch mr november so uh as you can tell it was off center and uh, sometimes you don't realize how off center they are until you send them in and they come back slabbed you can see this side has more border it's chunkier than this side so i wish i would have noticed that but eh who cares i still wanted it slabbed up it's a nice looking card. Derek Jeter, his last hit as a as a professional, his last hit as a Yankee was a who would have guessed it? A game winning hit. Derek Jeter. Oh, and it was a mint nine. Sweet card. Mint nine. Now this one was kind of disappointing, man. It's a Derek Jeter die cut card, and these are so hard to grade. Because look at all the edges on this card, man, all the pointy edges. So these usually don't grade very well, but it's a, it was a very, very cool card. Um, 2013 tops, Derek Jeter, cut to the chase. It looks like it's got a real shiny shine to it, like a rainbow refractorish, refractorish sign, uh, tint to it. You can see the different colors when I move it in the angles. It's a sweet looking card. Cut to the chase, Derek Jeter, New York Yankees tops. Beautiful looking card. So uh, this card received a mint nine. I wish that this would have received a ten, man. Cause look at this card, all those corners and edges and sharp edges there, and it's just amazing. It got a nine. <laughs> I was thinking, oh man, this will probably be like a six. There's too many sharp edges and corners and points. They're gonna deduct stuff, but. Man, it got a 9. I was shocked that it received a 9. But I'll take it, man. I would have preferred a 10, obviously. We all want 10s. But, hey, a 9 
is pretty good on this die die cut insert card. Beautiful looking card. Uh, two more cards left here, and this one is uh, played for the played for the uh, Cowboys. Uh, Demarcus Ware, and he played for the Broncos, where he won a Super Bowl. So uh, yeah, it's a nice card. It's an autograph card. As you can see the back. It says, uh, "Congratulations, you have received the trading card autographed by Demarcus Ware." So very nice card. Demarcus Ware. I am not a Dallas Cowboy fan. So more than, this is a pop one also. I looked at the pop report. So 2009 Upper Deck Philadelphia Demarcus Ware signatures. I'm not a big Cowboys fan, so more than likely I might be willing to sell this one. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to get into the into the Hall of Fame. He was a nine-time pro baller. He was a great ball, uh, great player. He led the he led the uh Cowboys in uh, statistically in career uh, sacks. I forget what number he has, but he's the leader as of right now. I believe he's the leader in sacks and career sacks on the Cowboys. Demarcus Ware, Dallas Cowboys autograph card. There's his autograph. Demarcus Ware. He should be in the Hall of Fame. I'm get my. I'm putting. Uh, I'm guessing he's gonna go into the Hall of Fame someday. Maybe not not next year, but soon, because he was a great player. And he won a Super Bowl with the Broncos. So this card received a Gem Mint 10. So this is a pop one. It's the, also the only one. It's the only one graded. So no one else has submitted a autographed Philadelphia Signatures card. So last but not least, another Hall of Famer. This is James Worthy. This was a subset. This was the All Star Game, uh, All Star Game weekend subset card. And when I looked at it, I said, man, this card looks freaking amazing for such an old card. 1989, James Worthy All-Star card. So I submitted it, and it did come back a gem mint 10. So I was looking at the uh, PSA has an app where you could just scan the barcodes, and they tell you, they give you a lot of information like the pop reports. And the value, sometimes they'll list the value of the card and what it's selling for. And uh, this is in the $50 range, this card. Hall of Famer, great Hall of Famer, great player out of UNC. James Worthy, NBA champion, Hall of Famer. This guy was smooth, man. He was a smooth, smooth player. He was good. James Worthy with the goggles. Gemmin 10. So that is it, guys. That is it for today. Uh, got back my unsigned Will Clark with a nice letter from him. I don't think that's his actual um, autograph. That looks like a facsimile autograph. But, uh, yeah, nice letterhead, though. Giants. And uh, I might send this back out. It's pretty unique. It's not an 8x10. It's not a card. It's just a page from a magazine. From uh, the old magazine that Topps used to have, Topps Magazine. So I might send this back out. See if he'll sign it for me. Will the Thrill. 20 bucks. Why not? Goes to a good cause. So that's it, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. It's up to you. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this, man. I love hearing your comments. I mean, not hearing them, reading them. I try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. So, uh, hey. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And uh, hit some flea markets out there. Hit them yard sales. Uh, yard sales are starting up, and uh, maybe you'll find something nice out there. So that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. God bless. Peace.